Good morning. Um, I've I've got just uh, 15 minutes. Erin's got a Zoom call, so I'm going to do a quick painting of these fuchsia. Freesias. Freesias. They smell lovely. These are also from Bernie and Bruce, actually, along with the sunflowers from yesterday. Thanks, Bernie. Thanks, Bruce and Callum. Now, I put on some... Um, I'm pointing at the video again. I put on some acrylic in the background in order to have something to um, respond uh, to react against, with I want the the flowers to read as being lovely and bright. Couldn't find my white acrylic, so that prompted me to use oil paint. So that's what I've got here now. Oh, and a brush that's totally hard. I've got oil paint. Um, so this titan titanium white and lemon yellow are the two colours I've got. Let's see now. And I think I'm going to. So the freezes are lovely and bright there, especially where they hit the window. Especially uh, where they're at the fan by the window. I'm trying to find a way to make it not stripy. I don't want there to be so much texture. So I'm going to try a slightly less hard brush. I have, I have some completely new versions of these brushes too somewhere, but you know now, if I was looking for them, it would take me another half an hour and I want to get this um, video out and kind of move on with the day and I'm afraid there's occasionally going to be flies around here now that the garden the doors open and between the cat food and the dog food and everything we've got a situation with flies which is not great but anyway not, not too bad you know no. it's just the hot weather as well okay so I put out a touch of yellow ochre sorry I can't see a thing there Right, so I um, wanted to add some yellow ochre to it. And I think if I make it a little bit more buttery with some of the zest it, which is the thinner I'm using, that I might have the capacity then to lift it up and lay it on nice and thickly. And then it wouldn't have so many brush marks in it. The other thing I could do is use a palette knife. Palette knife is quite dirty, but... And the thing about the palette knife is it's great, but you end up using a lot of, I'll probably end up using a lot of the paint, um, which would be fine if I had loads of paint, but I need to order more. There you go, now you've got all my woes straight away. All right, so. More white. And the brush is better than the palette knife. I want to be able to capture the kind of slightly softer feel. Yeah, so the grey is the blue grey colour is kind of for the, the curtain behind. And I use some Indian ink here with water. I'm just half closing my eyes again now and I'm gonna take off my shoes because it wants me to be a bit more connected. Um, and you know now the heat is on. <laughs> Let's see. I hope that the tarps isn't gonna lift the Indian ink or the oil paint I mean. really quite a white one there isn't it it's actually lower down than the one over here um, and it's a bit yellowish that bundle there a bit more of a color to them <coughs> and there's a bit more of a color to these ones here too and actually this where they enter the stems is a bit yellower <coughs> And then this one was delicately going up and around, up and around. Ah. And that'll go down the way too. So it's higher than this lot over here, which is also really white. Um, these are the burgundy brush set from Royal and Lang Nico. I find them really good for they're like the bright ones that you hear of, you know the the bright bristles which are a bit more springy and often more resistant. It's just a good idea too to half close the eyes so that um, I don't end up making the tones all different. There's a bit more space in here but you know I'm going to tolerate that, it's okay. 
probably just because this bra this this one needs to be shifted over that way a little bit. Could actually do that. Could do that with a touch of zest it under a paper towel. Let's see how this works now because I think the paper towel had water on it. <laughs> and of course all the kitchen paper has disappeared. Okay. Now yeah, so moving that lot over a little bit means that um for goodness sake, that one needs to shift over as well, big time. And I'm going to shift that by lifting it with the palette knife because there's quite a bit of paint on there. And I've got a nice consistency here that I can use for the petal that's sticking up. And that one. There more. And a bit more zested on the paper towel will allow me to clean that back a little bit more fully. Here. And actually while I'm cleaning it back I could also be outlining those petals a little bit too. Okay. Hmm. for me today but if I am drawing I could use a smaller brush and I could draw with the zest it in to create the shape of these flowers here so lifting off the paint in between the flower petals just with the zest it to act as a like water and acrylic you know lifting it out and there's a nice kind of roundedness to this lot here. I don't know, I'm really getting that feeling. And there's a beautiful brightness to the centre. But I don't know if it's quite lemon yellow. But the lemon yellow has been affected by the blue beneath it, so it's maybe not quite the colour I'm after. But you know, I think once I put in the green, It'll make a difference. I think the green is going to affect. Yeah, let's just see that we're all preempting anything. But first, I want to just establish that those petals are just a little bit more brightly with the white. Mm. And there's some kind of withery ones, like these are past their best now, probably. But I thought they're so lovely, I didn't want them to pass by without me painting them. Alright, okay. Now, I did say I wasn't going to use dark colour in the middle, but um, if I can find some blessed paper towel. Some here. Anyway, I'm going to just put some Indian ink in the space between. Because to me, this gap here is a significant dark. And allows the lights and the flowers to really sing out. And I'm aware that really, you know, Indian ink doesn't go on a painting after oil paint, but um, I'm not touching the oil paint with it, so I feel like it'll be okay. I feel like it'll be okay there. And I want to bring on the. Um, bit closer to shape some of these. Just a tiny bit. About five minutes Erin is it? What? About five minutes? Yeah. Okay. No, so it's probably time then for me to start doing the um well maybe I could do something for the jug as well. think that I was um, avoiding 
you'd think that I was avoiding the uh, leaves. I actually pulled out some green, there they are. Okay. Got some oil pastels that I thought would work. Hmm. Well, that's gonna. This is weird, but um, because I haven't yet put any oil paint here, I think I can still just use the acrylic for this band of blue that runs in the middle of that space. Just because it was, it was already on the palette, so easier to use that one. I don't really like, like it so much though, so I'm gonna make it smaller. And even maybe just have it on one side. Okay. Okay. Now, what about these greens? So I think I think that's quite a good green to begin with. I'm going to use my non-dominant hand because I can feel the urge to control this and rein it in. <laughs> and I don't really want to. something in me doesn't want to do that. I need a different green. Neither of those, neither of those are the, are the uh, exact colour I'm after. <coughs> um, maybe the gold itself is goldy green or this one. Just want to get some of the stems now. I need to find the right green. And <coughs> what I'm looking through is this lot of oil pastels here. And I know I'd have one somewhere. Yeah, this is quite a good one, I think. There's Maisie flying upstairs. This is, but it may work. It's kind of a grey. Um, I do have sap green oil paint. It may be that actually the sap green in oil would work just as a kind of a fluid drawn on mark. So I've got the sap green there, see. Oh, I think Maisie's chasing the cats upstairs, is she? Maisie! Maisie, come here! Maisie, come here! Back to my dominant hand now, because this is actually a bit, um, I need a little bit of control. She's got a plastic bottle upstairs. From upstairs, I know she's gonna start chewing it, I reckon. Let's see. I'm almost there really. I know it's still quite vague, but I've been kind of liking that recently. And I, I guess I could always return to it if I don't get it done in the 15 minutes. Something about this kind of carry on that's very fuchsia like. Fuchsia like. <laughs> you know, the way that the buds kind of come from there. Mm -hmm. Yeah? I don't mind, she can be in here. Okay. Oh. Well, if you close the door out to the hall, that'll be fine. I've got like about two minutes more. Hmm. 
I'll just stop as soon as the call comes in here. just a couple of dark greens because I think the, this dark green is okay in there as long as it's not all there is gold around the rim. And here. And maybe the other side of that. That's amazing. That's amazing now having fun with our plastic and all this stuff. Whatever oil pastel colors I think are going to work here. All right, I'm just going to stop there. Okay. Thanks for tuning in. I'll put the um, finished picture on the uh, as a thumbnail. I think. Okay. See you tomorrow, guys. Bye.